Oh my gosh, look, its legs are so tiny. We don't know much about frogs and tadpoles, so we are going to explore. We're gonna be scientists right now. Is that half frog, half tadpole? I think. That's so yeah. crazy. So what do you have? Water skater. Water skater's going here. Oh, let me see. Ah. What's this that? thing is that egg. This thing is literally That's a baby version of that water skater. Yeah, I think. Ah. We have a pond over here, and Axel has been busy catching Frog. some creatures in this pond. Can you pull one out and show them? Mm -hmm. Let's see. That is so crazy. Is that half frog, half tadpole? I think. That's so yeah. crazy. Now you guys, get... it's a frog that's got a tail. Let's get one of the other ones in there. Tadpole. Tad... Tadpole? And that one is just starting to grow tiny legs. Oh my goodness, can you hold it really still for me, Axel? Mm -hmm. Look at this tadpole, you guys. It's growing you new see. legs. But it has got some little tiny legs right. back there. You see that? Oh, wow. Right, right there. That's that is so cool. Put it back. Yeah, put it back in there. And let me show you something Man. else. Man. Yeah, show me what else you got. Here's a tadpole without oh. legs. No, oh, okay, you're right. No legs. I see what you're saying. This one has no legs at all. It's a very tiny little tadpole. So you asked a question earlier, Axel. About the frog, right? About this one right here. You said, can frogs breathe underwater? Tadpoles can't stay underwater. They can't? They need to breathe air? Yeah, they, like dolphins, they have to go up and take a breath of air. How do you know that? Because I, here, come and look. We don't know much about frogs and tadpoles, so we are going to explore. We're going to be scientists right now, and we're going to try to figure out what we can learn about these frogs and tadpoles that are in this pond here. Come on, you guys come with us and let's learn about these creatures, okay? Let's be scientists together. Daddy, I know. What? See that baby water skater right there? That's uh -huh. the baby water skater, not the other one. So you guys, there's these little bugs that are skating around on the water here. And there's also these little beetles that you see swimming around in the water. Axel's saying that his theory as a scientist is that those little bugs that are swimming underwater are the babies of the skaters that are swimming on top of the water. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. We'll find out, okay? We'll let you know. Ah, here's one. This one's hiding, but I think I can get it. Oh, nope. You got it? These samples are really hard to get, you guys. I'm surprised Axel caught so many. What'd you catch? Water skater. Is that a water skater? Oh. Yeah, me and Darian have eaten these before. You've eaten a water skater? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys remember the Ninjago set that Axel got that we made float on the water, that's just like these bugs here. Arms spread out over the water. So I'm not cool. not really a fan of eating bugs, but. <sighs> Axel's going to eat a bug. Is it good? Not good? Tastes horrible. Tastes horrible? Mm -hmm. You guys never, ever, ever eat insects yeah. without yeah. talking to your parents first. Some people do eat insects. It's a big part of their diet. Look at that, you guys. Do you see the little tiny legs right there? Let me zoom in. Maybe you can see them. They're just little tiny legs. And soon the legs will be bigger, like those on this frog right here. And soon that tail will disappear, and you'll get a grown frog. I got it. I got one, you guys. I got, oh, he's trying to get away. I got my first tadpole. Axel caught a bunch, but I've only caught one. Oh my gosh, look, its legs are so tiny. Bigger than the other one. Yeah, look at those legs, you guys. Oh my goodness, wow. Daddy, one just came up for a breath of air. Put it in there. I wonder if they are coming up for a breath of air. Look at those legs. That one? Oh, that one's so actually, those legs are actually awesome. as big as that. That one's like the stage right before the frog, right? Yeah, you're right. We get to see all the little stages here of these tadpoles and frogs. So Let's be careful. We don't want to pull them out for too long. Hi, Hi, River. Are you eating a pancake? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see the tadpoles and frogs? Yeah. Okay, we're going to learn about them. Would you like to learn about them with Daddy. us? Stage 
right before I'm excited frog. for River to learn about Daddy, them look. and for me and Axel. Look, this and is for you guys right to learn the about frog. them. Look how big those legs are. They're yeah, as big look. as the frog legs. You're right. This one's actually bigger than that frog. I wonder what tadpoles are called when they're in between tadpoles and frogs. That's <laughs> a good question. Maybe they're frog poles. No. What do you think? Frog poles? That makes sense. That's my theory as a scientist. So what did well, you this, say you saw? One just right now just came up for a breath of air. A tadpole? Yeah. Axel's saying that he's look, seeing these tadpoles look, come look. up for breaths of air. Maybe that means that they breathe air. So do you want to go to the internet and look it up and see if we can figure out whether they breathe air or not? Well, I'm <clears> sure <throat> the tadpole breathes air. Well, we'll see. I just saw one pop up. Yeah. There are people who have researched this so much more than we have or could possibly ever research. So let's go find out what they have to say about frogs and tadpoles. Okay, River, are you ready to learn about frogs and tadpoles? Yeah. Okay. I you am. Ready? I'm All ready right. to plug that. <laughs> Axel says he's ready to play Slither IO. Slither IO. How about frog and tadpole IO. Slither IO. <laughs> This is one of Axel's favorite <laughs> games here, you guys. Oh, and this is my favorite show. And his favorite show is Dragon's Race to the Edge. So, you guys, we are going to use this search engine called Google to search for information that other people have put on the internet. See if we can answer some of our questions. It's not called Google. It's called Google Chrome. Yep, yeah, that's the browser. So, Axel, what questions do you want to ask about those frogs or about the tadpoles? Let's start with the tadpoles. You asked a question earlier, do tadpoles what? Do tadpoles have to come up for a breath of air? All right, you guys, so we typed in, how do tadpoles breathe? And here seems to be an answer, growafrog.com. All right, Axel, so what does that say? During the tadpole stage, they breathe like a fish by passing oxygenated water through yeah. their gills and absorbing the oxygen. Frogs, of course, have lungs and breathe air, just like you do. Girl frog tadpoles, on the other hand, have both gills and lungs in the tadpole stage. What? So, so there's our part of our answer, you guys. The tadpoles, they breathe underwater using their gills, just like fish. And over water. And out of water. Well, no, because they breathe oxygenated water. And then whenever they become frogs, well, frogs have lungs and they breathe just like we do. Is that crazy? Oh, frog tadpole care. That's so crazy. Because you breathe air right now. You've always breathed yeah, air. What if I could breathe air underwater and out of water? Hey, you know, you kind of did. Did you know you were born in the water? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And did you know? I didn't even breathe back then. Yeah, you didn't. Axel didn't use his lungs for nine months about. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Axel was fed oxygen through his mother's umbilical cord. You didn't even use your lungs, just like the tadpole. Kind of interesting, isn't it? So I wonder at what point do they develop their lungs? As soon as they grow their legs, maybe? Let's, let's look that up. When do tadpoles develop lungs? Oh my gosh, was that cool? Mm -hmm. So you guys, we just watched this really neat video about the life cycle of a frog. From an egg, to a tadpole, to a, what did they call it? What's that one now? Oh, what's that one now? Froglet, yeah. Like a chicklet, a froglet. <laughs> That's so cool. So Axel, what did you learn about frogs and tadpoles there? When do they start developing their lungs? When they, when they grow what? When, when they turn into a froglet. Yes, you guys. Once they grow those sets of legs there, that's when they develop lungs, right? Mm -hmm. So Axel, what else did you learn about frogs? I teach them. Oh, you want to teach the people watching the show? 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. River, did you know that frogs, even when they sleep, they keep their eyes open? Yeah. That's so one that other thing we learned from this video. Coming. I'll put a link to the video and watch down below, you guys. If they see something coming, they're like, I'm asleep, but I can still see. I don't know. Maybe. I'm like, <laughs> oh, what's that? Okay, I'm awake now. So, you guys, the stages of the frog are, first it starts out as an egg, and then it grows to a tadpole. And then the tadpole grows legs, but it still has a tail and it's a froglet. And then once the frog loses the tail and goes out of the water and hops around on the land, then it's a frog. And then that frog mates with other frogs and lays more eggs and has more tadpoles. Wow. Hey Axel, are yeah. there any frogs that are in salt water? No. No, that's really interesting. Do you know what the process is called from tadpole to full-fledged frog? Uh, process. Metamorphosis. Because it's undergoing a really drastic change. And so that's what the word metamorphosis is used for. Now, we need to research about these things, right? Oh yeah, we do need to. We need to learn a little bit about those. We can learn about everything. You guys, the internet is the most powerful source of knowledge that exists. It's crazy. It's only been around for a very short period of time. And people before us didn't have this. And now we have this ability to research things and to collectively share information. Now some of the stuff that you find on the internet, it's not in any way accurate. It's actually very false, very wrong. <laughs> so if you're young, maybe ask your parents if they can help you to learn how to figure things out on the internet and find the best sites to learn from. He just took a breath of air. Yeah, just took a breath of air. That's so cool. All right, Axel, you think it's about time we let these little creatures go? Yeah, River, don't You want to help, River? Hold on. You want to let them go, too? Be, okay, you have to be come very on. careful and gentle, Let's go okay? Over there. All right, you guys, we're going to let these little creatures go back in the pond so they can finish their metamorphosis. All right, it's time to release them. Do you want to help release one, River? Four. Wow. You have a lot there. All right, okay. let's let him go. Frog first. Bye, Froggy. Bye, Caddy. Bye. Bye, Polly. Bye, Caddy Polly. There we go. Bubba, we'll get you one, okay? Now, don't squeeze it, River. Be That's very it. gentle. Okay. Can you be gentle? Yeah. Okay. All right, very gentle. Okay. You can right. let one of the bigger ones go, okay? Right. Put it in the water very gently. Walk down. I will hold your hand. There you go. Ooh. All right, set it in the water. There you go. All right, dump the rest of the tadpoles out. There we go. They're like, ah, where are we going? <laughs> so, Axel, what? did you enjoy learning about tadpoles and frogs? My name is not Axel. My <laughs> name is Pikachu. Hey, Pikachu, what is the name of the transformation? that those tadpoles go through again. Meta me metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. I was about to say Monferno. <laughs> <laughs> See if you guys can remember that. Metamorphosis. All right, you guys, well, we are so glad that you could join us on this awesome learning adventure where we pretend that we're scientists and we figured out a lot of things that other people already knew about frogs because they spent years and years and years studying them and then put that information on the internet and we were able to access it and learn from it. And if you like this video, you guys, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Well, you guys get out and use your imaginations to find creative ways to live your life and love everyone around you. You can learn so much by just using your imagination and you can learn so much about people by loving them. We'll see you later. Bye.